How do I get better at Call of Duty? And can I make money playing Call of Duty? I get asked these two questions the most, and today we're gonna answer them. What's going on everyone? My name is Elias. I've been a full-time Call of Duty coach for the last three years. And if you're interested in coaching, check out my links in the description below. First and foremost, I wanna let everyone know that there are daily free and paid tournaments on multiple websites, such as Checkmate Gaming, Game Battles, Esports Agent, and many more. Now for beginners, I'd highly recommend to get a friend, maybe two friends, and just start practicing practicing on SND. There are free matches you can play to practice, but over time you can then start doing wagers, doing $1 wagers, $2 wagers, and then that can start turning into tournaments. And right now you can sign up, do a $1 wager, and you might be $1 richer today. Now that being said, what's most important is recording your gameplay while playing these tournaments because you get to learn the patterns of the enemies, you get to learn what everyone likes to do, and you get to also critique yourself and fix your mistake. In this video, I'm gonna be going round by round telling you what you should be looking for during 2v2 S&D tournaments and how to adapt and play for the win. So in the very first round of S&D, it's hard to predict what the enemies are gonna do. So what me and my teammates said is, hey, let's just play together and we're gonna play trades. If they go B, we'll just simply play retake. Uh, so right here, immediately, the second that my teammate died, I pushed up looking for that trade because the second I get that trade, I can now be put in a 1v1. Um, but I couldn't get that trade and now we are already down 0-1. All right, moving on to round two. There's two things you can do. You can either do the exact thing that the enemy just did, which would be one player on truck and one player playing on this right lane, or you could just try and uh, do like a double man hit through A or something, uh, which right here, that's exactly what we did is I said, you know what? I'm going to hold down the entire A cross and you go towards A. If I see an enemy cross, I want you to fly in and we'll play that 2v1. Thankfully, I actually get the kill and I didn't need to um, have my player push in. But that being said, the enemy is looking for a trade. And just like that, I out trade the enemy. On this defense, we try to do the same thing where I'm looking for the cross, but no one crosses. And I said, all right, you know, I'm just going to back up to our base and boom, I immediately get flanked. Now, the reason why that happened right there, and as you see, both of them push up and flank. What happened was the enemy said, oh, OK, both of them went B. They gave up middle. Let's just push middle and double flank them. That's exactly what they did, and that's how they got that round win extremely fast. Quite frankly, we lose the next three rounds, so we're gonna go ahead and just skip forward to when we start winning. What? He's in a... We're down 1-5 right now, but I'll tell you that losing is learning, and we're gonna quickly adapt and start winning this game. On this round, I said I wanted to look for an enemy on the right lane, right here, I get that damage down. Those enemies immediately say, oh, we could 2v1A. But thankfully, because I got that damage down, my teammate was able to at least get a trade, and now we are left in a 1v1. Now, with this 1v1, I do wanna point out that the enemy does overheat, however, because the enemy knows that I was back in their base and I know he was at A, my goal is to try and push through and try and flank him. His goal would more than likely be, all right, let me plant bomb last time he uh, he was over there. So let me try to look over there and play for the kill. By me doing this simple rotation, I repositioned. He now doesn't know where I am, but of course he does see me and he kind of overheats right here. I don't know why he just like ran at me, but uh, now, <laughs> We know that one enemy is just dedicated to always playing inside of this building over here at the um, A. One of the players like to always challenge B, but only from their building. He almost never goes inside of this uh, plane. He never goes back here at all. He always just stays inside of that blue building, which means he usually tries to play close to his teammate over here. Now, what happens is I challenge him immediately since he's shooting uh, with this red dot right here. I challenge him to get him one shot, but the second that he runs away, I immediately look towards my right because this enemy on the right is always playing over here and he's looking to try and get a trade. So literally the second I'm done shooting this guy, I immediately pop a reload, look towards my right, and I catch this guy just running out into the open, thankfully, right there. And now we are immediately up in a 2v1 scenario. Now, in this 2v1 scenario, it's most important that me and my teammate hold hands and we just go plant bomb together and we play um, for the trades. Right now, the enemy should know that we were both playing over here at middle truck, 
So we're basically influenced to go towards B and hopefully that's what the enemy is thinking. So the enemy is just getting ready for a B push and he's just like camping inside of his building or maybe he's sitting in a corner over here. And that's the exact reason why me and my teammate said, sweet, we got a kill. Now let's both go towards A, plant bomb. And in our post plant, we're gonna have a nice X setup where I'm gonna sit in a corner, watch my back, he's gonna sit in a corner and we're gonna just hold the post plant site just like that and we're gonna end up getting a win. Now I learned something very important on this map and that's holding a cross. So instantly, the second that we spawn up on this defense, I'm already spamming to get up toward this staircase and see if I can find any enemies running towards this building, playing on this truck, anything like that. And if I don't see anything, then that just kind of shows that these enemies are probably playing middle or they're trying to go towards A. So once I don't see anything, I immediately back off and I try to go help my teammate middle map because once again, we want to win these trades to at least um, be in a 1v1 scenario where we can win that. Uh, so right there, I saw the enemy in his far back base. I'm hoping he saw me cross A. And this is literally what I'm thinking. I'm hoping this enemy saw me right here. He saw me go towards the left and now he's saying, oh, sweet. He just went towards the left, now let's go B. And that's actually why I start backing up and I start re-challenging this again. It's just to see if um, these guys do try and go B. But it turns out my teammate was middle plane. He saw the player at A, he got some damage down. And now I'm pushing up on this right lane once again, just trying to get to my teammate to help him and to see if this guy rotated back. But at this point, I don't see him rotating back at all. We're up in a 2v1. We just wanna get close to each other, play for the trade. Uh, right now he has my back, he has A, I have all of B, and uh, once again, this should be a very easy round win. I'm gonna skip forward. He plants A bomb, me and my teammate, we just pinch from both sides. So what happened was the enemy planted A, my teammate pushes from this side, I push from this side, and we have a natural pinch. Uh, because the second that the enemy planted, we were able to just basically have him trapped inside of this one area. We throw all of our nades, we collapse, we win the trades, we win the round. They keep playing A, so if we just... Yeah. Like, they'd they play just one A, yeah, yeah, exactly. One A, and the one guy just sits back warehouse. And once again, you heard it right there, me and my teammate said he always sits back warehouse, and the other guy always plays A. With this information, we can literally play for a pick or a counter, right? So me and my teammate can just go both B, plant the bomb, play post plant, or maybe we can try to work up middle and look for a kill on this guy middle. Um, the whole point is because these enemies keep doing the same things over and over again and we have their patterns, we're able to, able to counter them. And you're gonna see how I know this guy is in the back over here, so I keep looking for him, boom, I get Peeker's advantage, I get that first kill, and then I am out. I am repositioning so the enemy cannot trade me. And the second that I got out right there, I immediately plant B-bomb, and now I'm in the advantage. And this is how I get Call of Duty timing by cutting up the map or slicing it up. And what I mean by that, is the second I planted bomb, I didn't see the enemy left. Okay, let me go right here again. I don't see him left. All right, now let me watch the full flank and I'm gonna stare right here, waiting to see this enemy rush up here or cross. And if he doesn't cross, then that kind of just guarantees that he has to be on my left. So I'm gonna keep holding this. I'm gonna keep holding this. Some time's gonna go by. Okay, I still don't see him. I still don't see him. And at this point, I'm like, I don't see him. He must be working up on the left side of the map. So I quickly check it. I throw a shoulder. And then voila, he runs right in front of my aim. I get the nice easy win. It is round 11. That being said, in this final round 11, the job is, is just to play back, don't die at all, call in the cruise missile, get information. I know that I can kill this guy back here with all these windows. So that's exactly what I played for. Took my time. We go up in a 2v1. We know the last enemy is at A. I'm trying to see if this enemy crosses back, right? So I know that this enemy was at A, there's two things he can do. He can either push through and flank or he can go back, right? He could also sit still, but quite frankly, that's why I immediately look for this cross. And the second that I see him cross, I know he's back there. And at this point, I know we just won the game. I know we just guaranteed the win. And I told my teammate, run with me, run with me, run trade. with me. Let's get this trade, come on. Yep. Boom, there he is. And at this point, we have him trapped in the back of his spawn. I'm throwing all my nades just so we don't let him breathe at all. I do see him cross right there. And because I see him cross over here, the immediate thing I decided to do was reposition. He knows I'm sitting right here. So I quickly reposition to this spot right here. And what's gonna happen 
is when he's right here looking for me, he's not going to find me at all. I'm going to be able to shoot him in his side and we win the game. And oh, just like right, that, right. we come yeah. back from a 5-1 deficit and win 6-5 for bro. the tournament. <laughs> and uh, just like that, I hope this video helps you guys. Please let me know if you guys have any questions and I'm always happy to help. Other than that, thank you so much and peace.